Hi, this is Scarlett Sanders, and today I'm going to talk about the legal aspect of publishing your music, including copywriting it. If the right of remuneration is not transferable in contract, an author or performer who has signed an exclusive publishing or recording agreement will still continue to receive his or her share of the income from the remuneration right for the public performance of their recordings, no matter what is stated in the contract. Equitable remuneration means fair remuneration and is often set at 50% to the performers on a recording and 50% to the phonogram producer. However, member states are free to interpret equitable remuneration at percentages other than 50-50 if they wish. As discussed before, making available is an interactive right for authors, performers, and phonogram producers. If an author, performer, or phonogram producer makes content available so that a consumer can download or access a specific recording and work at a time and place of their own choosing, then the making available right takes effect. If a consumer listens to the radio or an online broadcast or webcast where they have no control as to the specific piece of music they will be listening to, then the making available right does not take effect. The radio station may play a specific genre of music, but the consumer will have no control as to which specific tracks will be broadcast. The making available right is of considerable significance for authors, performers, and collective management organizations. Because the making available right is an exclusive right, it is usually transferable by assignment or license. Whereas that is not usually the case with a right to equitable remuneration. A phonogram producer will insist that a performer assigns or licenses their exclusive making available right. As without it, the phonogram producer will not be able to sell downloads or license on-demand streaming, which is increasingly becoming a major part of recording income. Because the making available right is an exclusive right, phonogram producers usually license digital service such as iTunes. Whereas equitable remuneration rights are almost always administered by a CMO. Tastemaker personal radio streaming music services such as Pandora in the United States and last FM, which is international, are usually considered to fall under equitable remuneration rather than making available, although this is a gray area. I'm going to talk more about this subject in my next post.